Hello viewers, welcome to Safe Tech. Uh, today we will talk about uh, the flammability characteristics and their uh, dependencies uh, with the uh, temperature and uh, uh, pressure change. <clears throat> now this uh, uh, chart uh, is clearly describing the relationships of the concentrations of the uh, flammable vapors. Uh, with the temperature of that vapor. So now if we increase uh, the uh, temperatures, so there will be a point where we have where we will be having enough vapors that will catch fires, but it cannot generate the sustainable uh, flame. Or fire so this point is is <clears throat> called lower flammability limit and we can predict this point uh, by multiplying the uh, stoichiometric concentrations uh, with uh, let me give you this formula here's 0.55 CST which is basically stoichiometric concentrations of that vapors now if we increase uh, the temperature from this point onward then there will be a point which will produce enough vapors for which the required amount of um, oxygen will not be available and that is called a rich mixtures so beyond this concentrations the mixtures will be rich and below this the mixture is called lean so this is the uh, flammability range so if you, and this concentration is called upper flammability limits. Uh, we say this upper flammability limit and this is the lower flammability limits. Okay, I told you that a lower flammability limit can be predicted with this formula. And upper flammability limits uh, can be predicted with the formula flammability limits we can predict by multiplying 3.5 with the stoichiometric concentrations so this is a predictive formula now <clears throat> stoichiometric concentration I think you uh, must be aware that we can simply calculate the stoichiometric concentrations uh, from the uh, combustion reactions e equations so this is the actually mole of fuel divided by moles of fuel plus mole of airs now you can say if I put it here something like that total mole okay so now coming towards this uh, trend or the dependency of the flammability limits so if you see if I increase the temperature with increase of temperatures the flammability lower flammability limits decreases and upper flammability limits increases you know so the basically the whole range become more and more wider so how can we uh, predict this uh, trend so I can give you a relationship here so the 
sorry upper flammability limit this is at 25 degrees Celsius uh, or first we'll say at any temperature is equal to upper flammability limit at 25 degrees Celsius so it's going to increase plus 0.75 divided by now this is the heat of combustion and we have temperatures which we are studying minus 25 degree minus 25 this is also temperature so similarly uh, a lower flammability limit at any given temperatures is basically a lower flammability limit at 25 degrees Celsius which is normally available in the literature uh, and this decreases so I should put here the minus sign and with the same formula 0.7 5 divided by heat of combustions this is the nut heat of combustions and then we have temperatures that temperature which we are studying minus 25 degrees Celsius so the unit of this net heat of combustions in this formula is kilo calorie per mole the unit is very important so uh, this is uh, uh, these are the empirical formulas which will give us a very good uh, estimate of uh, the behavior or uh, the flammability range changes with the increase of temperature with the change in temperatures so now one more thing I, would, I just want to add here uh, is about the auto ignition temperatures. Now we have auto ignition temperatures here. You know, this is the temperatures <coughs> where uh, the uh, molecule of the fuels uh, is having enough energy that they can start spontaneous combustion reactions with oxygens. Uh, but uh, if I want to see that any hot surface um, in the plant area where we have uh, chances of uh, um, ignitable mixtures, so whether that hot surface can be considered as a source of ignition? So the answer is uh, no, because this is the this is a basically hot surface temperature. If I put it hot surface so hot surface and auto ignition temperature if I consider hot surface as a source of ignitions then its temperature surface temperature should be uh, hot surface temperature should be around 185 or 82 sorry 82 degrees Celsius degree C should be more than 82 degrees C plus auto ignition temperature so this this gap is basically 182 degrees Celsius okay so if the Temperature of the hot surface is more than 182 degrees Celsius of the auto ignition temperature, auto ignition temperature of uh, uh, that uh, material. Then we will consider uh, that hot surface uh, as a potential source of ignitions. Now this is the uh, reference of uh, this temperature is in API 2216 you can check that okay viewers thank you very much for your time
and uh, if you have any uh, questions uh, you can put in the comments see you later bye